Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. And today I thought I'd do something a little different. I absolutely love Charlotte Dobre and Reddit and reading all the different threads and stuff. And so I reacts, reacts. That's what it is. Charlotte Dobre does reacts. If you haven't heard of her, uh, I mean, have you been living under a rock? Because she's pretty big. Um, if you haven't, that's fine. I, I, I mean, no disrespect. I just, she's huge. Does a lot of React videos. And I absolutely love her. I think she's hilarious. So I thought I would do some Reddit Am I the A hole? But tailored to crochet. And so, yeah. Why don't you sit back, relax? grab a cup of coffee. Oh, and speaking of coffee, I am so excited. Code Orange, Code Orange, Starbucks. Well, the stores have started to put out Fall Blend and Pumpkin Spice, but this one smells so good, is Smoked Butterscotch. That's right, smoked butterscotch. And it tastes absolutely fabulous with my Italian sweet cream creamer. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So with that being said, let's get into it and fly down or fall. Should we, well, it'll, it's more like a fall. <laughs> fall down the Reddit Am I the A-hole crochet hole. Rabbit hole. Oh my god. Let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, I had to... I uploaded... Uploaded. I created my Reddit account yesterday, I believe. And it's on my phone, but I had to, I wanted to get it on my um, tablet because I record with my phone. So I needed to be able to read what I'm doing and record with the, with my phone. So I'm on my tablet and that was an odyssey. My goodness. It took me a hot minute, but I finally got it. I am in. And as far as Reddit goes, I'm not sure that I will actually ever post on Reddit. I might. Who knows? But, um, but yeah, I definitely do like reading the threads and stuff. So, and since watching crochet content on here on YouTube or on Facebook or anywhere else, I have realized that it is a whole massive weird community, which I absolutely love. And there's all the drama, all the drama. That's why I said, get yourself a cup of coffee, or should I say tea, considering we might be spilling some. Mm. Anyways. It is a crazy world, the fiber art community, but I love being a part of it. So I'm going down, this is the Am I the A-hole rabbit hole, <laughs> and literally everything is regarding crochet, and I'm going to be doing this blind, like I'm looking it up right now, and I'm going to be reading it with you. So this is one that was eight months ago and it's am I the a-hole for telling my sister-in-law it's rude to crochet everywhere okay there's 318 comments oh there we go 318 comments but um, let me get into the story here <laughs> just on that first the headline I would say yes, but also no, because there is a time and a place. There are places that you should not probably crochet or do anything other than what it is that you're doing, like say a wedding. I really, you should be focused on the wedding or a funeral for that matter. Um, but yeah, so this reads, my sister-in-law does crochet 
It's literally become her personality. Well, I mean, it becomes your life if they don't understand that. Uh, she started doing it after her and my brother experienced a second trimester loss earlier in the year. Aww. Now she does it everywhere. I work in the same place she does and I've seen her crocheting at her desk during her breaks and lunch. Okay. Is, is that really a problem? <laughs> She's on her own time. My brother says it's how she relaxes. Apparently it helps calm her busy mind. Well, that is so true. Every week or so, we have family dinners over at my parents' house. Since sister-in-law has been crocheting, she brings it with her. She just sits in the corner after dinner working on a project. My brother, brother often sits with her and they'll talk quietly. Both her and my brother are quiet, introverted, or quite introverted. Can I read? <laughs> if she ends up sitting with my wife or another sister-in-law, she's crocheting. I recently invited her and my brother to watch a film at, at mine and again, she was sat at mine. Can I, okay, no, that is literally what it says. At my, I'm assuming at their house. And again, she was sat crocheting through the whole film. It's rude because she's not paying attention to anyone. Tonight, my brother posted a picture of them where they were out having a couple drinks in the pub. Yet again, she was crocheting. It was on the table in the picture. In the comments, she was joking with her friends that she'll be able to see where, see where on her whip that she got drunk. Oh, okay. She'll be able to see where on her whip that she got drunk as it, it'll be all drop stitch, stitches and she'll have to start again. Her social media is full of posts about crochet, about what she's working on, the yarn or patterns she's bought, or their tips, their tips, trips. She and my brother take to go to specific yarn stores. I've had enough of her being rude and I commented under the post that it was rude that she kept crocheting everywhere and she needed to stop being so antisocial all the time. She didn't comment whenever, wherever and whenever, she, wait, she didn't comment back but one of her friends did, did telling me to F off and that she can crochet wherever and whenever she wants. I responded by saying, in that case, crocheting is banned in my house, so she'll have to crochet, so she'll have to socialize in future. My bro brother deleted my comments before sister-in-law got to see them. I know this because he told me when he messaged me telling me that I was being a prick and her crocheting wasn't hurting anyone. He said that she's scrutin scrutinly crocheting all the time because she's making gifts for family and friends. B.S. Because we don't do gifts for adults in the family anymore. He told me that they wouldn't be coming around any coming around anyone until I apologize to sister-in-law. I'm not apologizing because it's rude not to be given people your full attention. Am I the a-hole for telling my sister-in-law that it's rude to crochet everywhere. Oh my goodness. Wow, this one, it has, a, there's a lot to unpack here. Obviously this person does not understand what crocheting does. I mean, does for an individual, especially someone who is introverted. Um, I guess you would have to put it in an analogy that they might understand, like a hobby that they do, that they would understand, and that they post about all the time or are so passionate about all the time. I mean, crocheting is just, it's crocheting, knitting, whatever it is, it's simple. You can bring projects anywhere and everywhere. And I would crochet wherever I wanted to. Obviously, like I said at the beginning, there are certain places and certain times that you really shouldn't 
be crocheting and I think that would be for like a wedding or a funeral or something of that nature. But to say that it's rude to crochet during watching a movie or hanging out with family and friends or even going to the bar, <laughs> that's a bit much. At least in my opinion. I, I, I'm I sorry. I, I don't know who you are. And I'm not sure, I mean, uh, the person that posted this is um, Lucky Reputation 42, or 2427. I don't know if that's the person that is actually this story, but uh, yeah. So that is, okay. So, the OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the, the a-hole. Uh, and he said, um, oops, where'd it go? Oh no! Now I've got all the comments, but I don't have the, let's see if I can get that back. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One, I told my sister-in-law that it's rude to crochet everywhere because she's not giving the people in her company her full attention. Two, my brother is now refusing to visit until I apologize. I'm ref refusing to apologize after his BS reason for her always crocheting. Okay. Still, sir. Yes, you are still the a-hole. Because, yeah, to tell someone, especially someone who's introverted, that they can't do something that helps them be comfortable where they're at, comfortable with what they're doing, and being around other people, I mean, that, it, it would be like, that's a security blanket, if you will. Um, but, oh my goodness, yes, definitely, <laughs> yes. Let me get into some of the comments. So, the first comment I see says, Yes, the a-hole. But I think it's great that you've said she can't come to your house because it will give her more time with her husband and with people who are kind to her. <laughs> you sound awful in general, so I'm not sure anyone should listen to your idea of what is rude. Crocheting while watching a film isn't rude. Crocheting on work breaks isn't rude. Crocheting in a living room during a casual family get-together isn't rude. Being a quiet introvert isn't rude. Having a hobby you enjoy and taking a, talking about it on social media isn't rude. And it's pretty much what social media is for. That is so true. She's actively participating in events with family and with friends. She's joking with friends. She sounds like she's doing fine. Being controlling and insulting is rude though. You're rude. Yeah, I agree. I agree, kind. I, I, I don't know the, the name, but I, I definitely agree. I agree. <laughs> um, someone did a sub comment to that comment and said, right? Three guesses why su sister-in-law isn't talking to OP at family dinners so true that is <laughs> i also loved how op described sister-in-law socializing with everyone but them and then said they were sick of sister-in-law not socializing she sounds like she is actually going out of her way to be as polite as possible without having to deal with op and their attitude i agree with that too uh let's see if we can find any other someone this is nope that's we're still Okay, here we go. This is, yes, the a-hole. You are jealous that her crochet projects are more interesting than you are to everyone else. It, it, it is not rude to do a quiet craft project around other people. Historically, it's outright normal. Lots of people with ADHD, anxiety, or, you know, grief and trauma to process do that kind of thing. Maybe if you got a hobby of your own, you'd be less boring and petty. 
that. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I, I'm thinking everybody on here is saying yes, the a-hole. Yes, the a-hole. Uh, yes, the a-hole. I'm failing to see how your sister-in-law crocheting affects you. I crochet and take whatever project I'm working on unless it's too big to fit in a bag with me to places and not once as not once has anyone told me that I'm being rude. People always ask what I'm working on and I get requests to make things for friends and family. I love to make things for people. It is very possible to crochet and engage with others around you. You do realize that there are other people in your brother and sister-in-law's lives and family than just you, right? She could be making something for others. You sound so ungrateful and just plain rude. You are jealous. Are you jealous of your sister-in-law? He may be. He might be. Did you try to learn to crochet and not get the hang of it? Don't be surprised if your brother decides to go... LC or, oh, low contact or no contact with you in order to protect his wife's mental health. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I. So far, literally every comment says yes, they are the, and I agree. That one, I'm sorry, but. Crocheting anywhere is allowed. And yes, you can. I can have conversations. Now, I do have to hyper-focus on what I'm doing. I may not look at somebody while I'm crocheting, but I can still hold a conversation uh, because I'm focused on what stitches I'm doing or... You know, I'm looking at my project so that I don't make, make a mistake. I am not a crocheter that can just look at anything. So I have to look at my project. Now, if I'm having to count, then I won't bring a project that's going to require my full attention to actually work it. If I'm going in, out to be social, I will bring a project that's going to be super easy. Like anything that has to do with granny stitches. I can do that not blindfolded. But I can do that and not have to worry about what it is that I'm doing so that I can focus on the, my surrounding area. So yeah, that one. Yes. Yes, sir. You are the a-hole. Um, let's see. Um, am I the a-hole, 39 female, for telling my son, 18 male, that a blanket that I made for him isn't something you give to a high school girl girlfriend. I mean, technically it's his, but yeah, I would probably feel very upset if my son gave something that I spent hours on and gave it to a high school gr girlfriend, especially since he's not with anybody that he met in high school at all. <laughs> the person he's with met, he met after adulthood, after his um, first marriage ended. So actually, no, they met before, but that sounds bad. They were friends, coworkers. They were coworkers and nothing transpired until after his marriage was dissolved. So there you go. <laughs> they were not seeing each other during the marriage because that's not him that's not the kind of person he is so but yes I can understand something that is significant to you not wanting to have it given to a high school girlfriend especially when not everybody is with their high school sweethearts so this is what they said Basically, the title, but a little context. I started making my son a blanket after he was born. I have carpal tunnel and I can't crochet for long periods of time, but every year I added the number of inches that he had grown that year to the blanket's length, despite not being able to use my hands properly for days afterwards. My choice, I know, but that's not my point. His father and I were high school sweethearts, but we divorced after five years. 
and I got custody of our son, of our then two-year-old son. When my son turned 16, he decided that he wanted to live with his dad in Texas. So I decided to gift him the blanket that year for Christmas, since I was sure he wasn't going to grow past his then height of six feet, two inches, oh, six feet, two inches. And we weren't going to see each other for a while. He met his current girlfriend, 18 female, last year, and while she is a sweetheart, I don't see them being a forever pair. Well, that's kind of not your, I mean, they could be, but that's besides the point at the moment. <laughs> Nothing against her, I just know my son. Yeah, well, I thought that his high school sweetheart would be his forever and she is not so there we go today he informed me that he was going to give her the blanket because it was too short for him now and she really likes it i told him that i thought it was kind of effed up that he would give away something i worked so hard on for him and that it really wasn't that the type of thing you give to a high school girlfriend his response was that he didn't mean to hurt my feelings. He just wants the two things he cherishes the most in the world to be together. And he wants his girlfriend to be surrounded by my love, just like he was always, he has always been. My ex who'd been part of the conversation for a different reason told me not to be a bee. A bee. It's just a blanket. Now that I've calmed down, I kind of regret regret saying anything but I still believe that it isn't something you give to a high school sweetheart so am I the a-hole update I talked to my son again and told him that I knew he was an adult and could make his own decisions but I really didn't like the idea of him giving the blanket giving her the blanket on the off chance that they did break up the blanket would be filled with memories of her and that would affect his feelings towards it I then offered to make the blanket longer if he would prefer. He has promised he won't give it to her. I want to thank everyone who commented. A lot of you gave me much needed insight and offered helpful suggestions. I really appreciate you all. This one's a tough one because, I mean, she can use it without having to own it. Uh, and the mom is correct they may not be together after high school but then again they might and they may get married and they may stay married some people do I I am one of those people I married my high school sweetheart now we had been separated before but once we got back together we've stayed together and we dated in high school and we dated other people and then we dated each other again after high school and then we dated other people. I mean, we lived completely separate lives and then got together again and have been together ever since. So, I mean, I totally understand and I can relate because no, I wouldn't want my son to just give something that took me years to create for him and give it to someone that he may not be with in the future. So, uh, she has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the a-hole. And it was one, I told my son that a blanket that was handmade for him wasn't something that you give to a high school girlfriend. And two, I believe I overreacted and was too judgmental about his relationship with his girlfriend so I mean I can totally cause because she married her high school sweetheart and they divorced within five years I can totally understand where she's coming from but let me see uh, the first one not the a-hole the odds they're going to be together long term is slim to none at their ages so true that's just facts this is Something he might want to give to his own children, child one day, and he might regret giving it to her. What if it ends badly and she doesn't want to give the blanket back? That's true. 
and someone commented underneath that and said, your experience is not what all the people around the globe experience. And that's true. Um, but we will never know until the future happens. Oh, I should have also looked how long ago was this? Oops. So this was also eight months ago that this was posted. Let's see. I'm going to try and find another. Oh boy, it is. I'm trying to find another that's not tied to that one. Oh, okay. Uh, this one said, no, your ex is the a-hole. <laughs> He's instilling some strange notion into your son. For one, your ex should never call you names. That is true. And second, I don't understand why your son would want to give away something his own mom gave him. It's really odd. Now, okay, she's injecting her own. I mean, we don't know the whole situation. So the the dad just said, don't be a B, uh, B, <laughs> B I T C H. Um, whether he instilled anything in the son or not, we don't know. So it's even more so, I wonder if the girl even knows the significance of it. He's also 16. Nope, he's 17 or 18 at this point. The gift, but let me finish. He's also 16, so he's, he is dumb. No, he's 18 now. This gift might have been best to keep till he was much, much older and would have actually cherished it. I mean, yeah, I, I can see that point, but no. Uh, here's another person, not the a-hole. How about you invite your son and teach him basic crocheting and then make him crochet something on a beginner level just so he gets a bit of a feeling for how much time and effort you put into his blanket. Like knitting your first scarf. It takes hours and will still come out <laughs> poopy <laughs> and uneven and smaller than you were expecting. My guess is that he literally lacks an understanding just how much work went into that blanket. That could be true. Uh, also, you could suggest you can crochet it longer to fit him again. From a functional point of view, it doesn't have much use to him if it's too short to use. I mean, is he wanting it to be like a blanket blanket where it's on his bed and he sleeps with? Sitting, it would probably not be too short because you would just have it at your waist. But anyways, uh, personal opinion, if I were in your shoes, I'd try to kindly but firmly v veto his move. You don't have to, you don't have hard authority, of course, but this is a soft power matter. matter. This is one of those things where it is okay to be firm in the right way. I explained to him that this is important to you and, and you wouldn't feel both disappointed and hurt by this move even if he honestly didn't intend it at all. That you want to, expe want to expect him to keep, that you want to expect him to keep the blanket. Oh my God, can I read? in his own possession and not give it away. His choice will have a lasting impact on your relationship either way, and he should reflect on that before making his decision. Um, yeah. Let's see. Here's another one, not the a-hole. It's sweet how he cherishes his girlfriend. Seems like you raised a lovely, caring person there, but you are probably right. They are not going to be forever, and it would be sad if he lost that special blanket. I hope he comes to his senses, or if they separate, she is kind enough to give it back. 
probably, possibly, I would say possibly, I mean, probable, yes, that they won't stay together, but I mean, still, I, <laughs> I don't know that it really would be, I mean, ultimately, it is his choice. I do understand, and I would probably do the same thing, to be honest. I would tell him I don't want him to give something of that significance to someone he is not possibly going to marry in the future. So I have just realized that I have taken up a half an hour of your time. So I'm going to see if I can um, find something cute. Let's look up. Whoop. Cute crochet. I could spell. <laughs> Don't ask why I couldn't figure that out for a second. I know how to crochet or how to spell crochet. So let's see. Oh, let's look at I love cows. Let's look at some cute crochet cows. Oh my goodness. Am I doing it the right way? There we go. Look at that. Oh. That's an elephant and a little buggy. Oh, that is so cute. So cute. Alrighty. Um, that is Kate under underscore Katrin, 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 Katrin. It's K-A-I-T-R-E-E-N. So her username is Kate. Capital K A T E underscore K A I T R E E N. So if you want to check out her Reddit and see her cute little plushies, yeah. Oh my goodness. There's squishy mallows. All right. <laughs> I have wasted enough of your time. I'm going to let you go. I hope you have had a really great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see or hear any more Am I the A-hole stories from Reddit and if I should expand to more than just crochet or fiber art. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. I will see you all later. If you would like to be notified of any and all future uploads, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit hit all on the notification bell. Again, leave me a comment and hit the like button and maybe I will do this again sometime. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Mm -hmm.